Today's video is sponsored by Pickers Grip. Stop dropped picks and pick rotation while playing with Pickers Grip. Made with all natural ingredients in Virginia. Check out their website to order. When you support my sponsor, this also supports my channel and it's very much appreciated. Today here in the dungeon, we're shooting out two different versions of the PV6505. I did a video on the 6505 Piranha a couple of months ago and a number of uh, viewers uh, you know, either didn't like the demo because they didn't think it sounded very good. Uh, you know, and it, I don't know that I necessarily disagree with them. Uh, but that said, the 6505 has, and its 5150 predecessor, have been around for the better part of 20 years or so now, probably more than that, and have gone on to become one of the best rock rock amps ever so i decided that of the two versions that i own we're going to see which one of these actually sounds better the 6505 plus 112 combo or the 6505 piranha head and what we're going to do just to just for the sake of comparison is we are i'm going to play through the 112 combo just the gain channel we're not messing with knobs or anything like that we're just going to play through the 112 through the 6505 plus 112 combo for a minute. Then we're gonna plug the Piranha head into the speaker of the combo to keep the comparison as close to one another as we possibly can. So, here we go. Alright, now let's switch it out to the 6505 Piranha Head and see if see what the difference is.
okay, the 6505 plus 112 combo, the big one, I think, it, you know, definitely sounds better, and I think we all knew that was going to be the case. Uh, the reason being, the 6505 plus is an all tube amp, you know, tube preamp, tube power amp versus the Piranha, which is just a uh, tube preamp and a solid state power amp inside of a very, very small compact little package with three knobs. And I did a video on that, as I mentioned, a couple months back. Uh, I had, I've never done an actual video on the 6505 plus combo just because they're everywhere. Uh, you know, they've been out for a while and you know, there's all kinds of videos out there on YouTube and for me to do another one, unless I decide to do one for my own enjoyment someday, is pretty much useless. So <laughs> that said, the 112 combo is you know definitely the better sounding amp, but it's also a $700 amplifier versus the PV6505, which is I think somewhere you know around the $140 mark, I believe. Uh, $139, I think, is what I paid for mine, something like that. They're, you know, they're very affordable. But now that we've heard both of them side by side, the, the only thing that changed between those two examples was the amplifier itself. Both of them were running into the same speaker uh, inside the combo. Uh, obviously, same guitar, same tuning. Uh, I used my Line 6 G10 wireless system to go into both amplifiers. And the only reason I did that is because though you can't see it on camera, I have got cables and pedals and everything going everywhere in this room right now. And the last thing I needed is another cable. So, and line six obviously doesn't, uh, you know, can't really tell the difference between the line six and using a cable anyway, particularly this close to an amp. So, you know, as far as which one better, the 112 combo definitely sounds better. However, I personally do not think that the Piranha sounds bad. You know, in fact, I think for what it is, I think it's actually a really good sounding amplifier. And uh, in a studio situation, I think it can be, you know, it can perform very, very well. Uh, as far as, you know, as uh, rock tones go anyway, you're not gonna get a whole lot of clean tones out of it, but the same is also true for the combo. You know, the rhythm channel on that amplifier is not known for its clean tone. So, you know, if you're on a budget and you're in a pinch, I would not be afraid to buy the Piranha. If you have the budget to spend, and you also intend on gigging with, uh, you know, gigging with this with this amplifier, both in small and medium-sized venues, and maybe even some larger, uh, some larger clubs. The 60 watts of the 112 combo is going to be plenty to get you there. Both of them have plenty of gain, plenty of mid-range uh, to cut through the mix. And uh, one thing I did notice about the Piranha over the 112 combo is the Piranha actually seems to be a little bit more responsive to pick attack. I noticed a little bit more percussiveness in my playing through that amp than I did through the 112 combo. And I'm sure a lot of that has to do with the fact that uh, just the way that I had the 112 combo dialed in. Uh, and just so you know, what you guys are hearing, this is the first time I've done this. I did not you know, go through a run through or anything between the two amps before I turned on the camera. I turned on the camera and this is the first comparison between the two that I did. About the only thing that I could set up the same on both amps was the gain, which I set both of them right at about three o'clock. So, which one's better? Better sounding, we've already determined that. Better overall, I think they both fill two completely different voids and two different needs for, maybe not necessarily two different players or two different types of uh, types of customer, but, you know, they're definitely two different areas uh, you know, two different needs that certainly the same person could have a need for both. But, you know, chances are you're probably not going to be using using them interchangeably very often. The reason why I bought the Piranha Head was because, well, two reasons. One, I just happened to want to try it and I wanted to do a demo on it. And two, you know, I thought it would be nice to have something that was, I think it's 20 watts, which is plenty for most anything that I'm doing these days. Uh, had plenty of wattage and ultimate portability. I have another small cabinet over here that I can use with it that would make for a very, very nice, easy, portable, toss it in the trunk, road trip kind of guitar rig, should I ever need something like that. Whereas the 112 combo is probably going to be a little bit more of a professional level amplifier, uh, but, all things considered, a very affordable one. 
However, but the reason that I wanted to do this video is because I actually had a lot of fun uh, the other day when I was doing the shootout of the two Bayang metal end distortion pedals, and I decided that, uh, well, I didn't have any uh, a particular topic or subject matter in mind for this one, and uh, all of a sudden it just came to me, and I realized that I never get a chance to use my 6505 plus 112 combo in a video. So this is a good opportunity for me to kill two birds with one stone. Uh, and I'm glad, I, glad that I did because I learned a lot. I had not actually compared the two side by side yet. So if you enjoyed this video, your support of this channel is greatly appreciated. And you can do so by hitting the subscribe button down below as well as the bell icon right next to it. And you will receive alerts of when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Saturday morning. You can also check out my merch shop on Teespring and buy yourself a Robert's Guitar Dungeon t-shirt. Uh, also another great way to support this channel and all the proceeds to that do go straight back into this channel so that I can continue to do gear reviews for my wonderful viewership. Uh, links to your know, links to all the gear used in this video will be down in the description. Uh, right below that is the comment section. Please don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. More videos to come soon. You know what? There are tons of young people out there that want to get involved in music and do not have the means to do so. If you are watching this video, most likely you're a musician and many experienced musicians have tons of broken and unwanted gear lying around that they're not doing anything with. Please visit my friends at Share the Music on Facebook at the link below and learn how you and your unwanted gear can help change somebody's life.